What's going on everybody, it's me, it's your boy Remy, aka Remyoshi, and I'm back with another video. I'm a bit more active on YouTube these days, I'm trying to get there. One thing I feel like I'm failing on is giving you guys the insight into my mind that when I do something, when I create something, it's just there. And with art or anything creative, there's a thought process behind it, and I need to give it that thought process. So, we're good. today's video, we're going to go behind the front cover. So let's look behind this front cover, guys, and see what's what made this happen. All right, guys, special angle for you. So, when I uh, had the idea for the front cover, first thing I wanted to do, I wanted to kind of roughly sketch it down. So this is one of the first uh, sketches I did for Rimoshi Volume 3, okay? So if you come a bit closer, yeah. So this is like the first sketch. I, in my head, I had like Rimoshi in the center. So him in the center, the famous Kimbu at the side, and Sai on his right hand side, okay? This is like the first idea I had. So I quickly sketched it out, quickly sketch, 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 sketch. And I kind of like got it out of my head because I didn't want to lose that idea. I, when I was doing the volume three, I always like, I need to kind of see how it's going to look when it's all done. Then the kind of front cover pops into my head. So that was like the first sketch, like I said. Then after that, I wanted to develop it a bit more. So I played with this type of sketch as well, come a bit closer. So I want to change the angle. Don't want his hand a bit closer, her at the side hiding. So, uh, uh, no matter what, Rimushi needed to be in the centre. But I was thinking, what should I do with the other guys? Should I put his hand in front? Should I put his hand behind? How do I want it? So that was like, I was just kind of playing with that. Then I was also just playing with the perspective of, of the characters. Playing again. I knew how I wanted it in my head. I knew Rimushi had to be at the front. Just in case of me sketching. And as long as I keep getting the same idea, the kids coming through, I'm going to stick with that. In this case, the angles, the hand position, it comes down to the little details. As long as I get 80% of it done, these are all little details. Cool. And uh, I played with that as well, but I feel like, even with this sketch here, I don't want it to feel like he's hiding away. I feel like he looks like he's hiding away. The main character needs to be like, over here, like tough, ready to take on the world. And I feel like, between these two sketches, he looks more hiding away, he looks more brave, he looks more like a champion, a young hero in training. Then I done like the kind of final sketch. I thought, you know what? This is it. The balance is on point. It's interesting. And I was like, yeah, I'm rolling with this. So after that point, it's just a case of me uh, developing the sketches. So this was a sketch for Sai. Si for si. I've done them individually because I maybe wanted to use them for something separate later on. But I've done them individually. And I wanted that angry look on Sai's face. Like, he's a bit of a hater. When you read a book, you kind of see it. So he's definitely much of a hater. So I wanted them penciled in there nicely. And obviously as well, we had the main character, Remy Yoshi. I feel like this was, to me this is beautiful, good, done it nicely. It's A3, the quality is there, the angle of the foot, the hand, all the part of his body is put in a nice position and I really like that as well. And we got the famous Kimbu, the famous Kimbu. She's using the snake technique. That's that, yeah, that's one of the one of the deadly moves was in Kung Fu as the snake. So, yeah, so these are the kind of positions I wanted. Remy Yoshi in the center. And sorry, you can't see because of the lighting. But Remy Yoshi in the center, Kimbu at the side, and Sai there, okay? Then obviously I pull it all together. And then we obviously we had book three, okay? So that's kind of like behind the scenes of how I developed it. What's up? Let's get back to it now, guys, yeah? All right, so as you can see, we've got Remy Yoshi in the front, okay? Now, Remy Yoshi is the main character in my franchise, okay, in what I'm trying to create, okay? And this is a flashback chapter, and this is all about the youth of Remy Yoshi. That's why we can see his face, we can see him in a different outfit, a whole different attire to the first couple, of, to the first uh, chapter, when he has his hat, when he's got his cape and his swords. This is more of a stripped back, who is this guy? Who is he? And then this chapter, this is where we really find out. So, and also by the side, we have Sai, okay? Now Sai's character, you have to obviously, I hope you read the book. If you haven't read the book, I'm disappointed in you. And you should stop this video right now. Click the link below, buy the book, then come back and watch the rest of this video. Okay, thank you. 
If you have already got the book, now I shall continue, okay? Now, Sai's character, he's someone that is easily jealous. He's someone that doesn't like to see Romayoshi do certain things. He's someone that doesn't like to see anyone do better than him. He's what you would say in scientific terms, a hater. So I'm gonna put an equation on the screen about a hater. Cool. So he's someone that is very, he doesn't like Ramiyoshi. He doesn't like to see him do well, doesn't like to see him succeed. And that face sums up how he feels. Ramiyoshi is he's focused. He's focused on the greater, the greater good. He's focused on the target ahead. That's why he's ahead, looking forward, ready to take on the world, ready to take on the jabs, the punches that come in, okay? And we have the famous, the infamous Kimbu, okay? She's someone that has passion for Ramiyoshi. She loves him. Ramiyoshi's gonna go to the end of the world. She's gonna go with him. He's gonna go down the road. She's going with him. He's gone to the park. She's going with him. Whatever he wants to do, she's gonna stick by here, his side, okay? So she's focused on him. So every, these two, they're focused on the Ramiyoshi, either for the good or the bad. But Ramiyoshi's focus is what's ahead. But also as well, he wants to protect them. That's the other side you need to see. He still wants to protect them. He still wants to protect the people around him. And he still wants to protect those who he doesn't even know. That's a part of his character. It's a part of who he is. And obviously, like I have to make it a bit clear, Rimoshi is based on me. It's based on my experiences. It's based on the things I've been through in my childhood. It's based on the relationships I had with friends and females and stuff like that. It's all incorporated into this book, okay? Now, I will do another video very soon about Ramiyoshi in the world in, in a more deeper deeper sense so you guys can really understand what I'm talking about so I put the book down let me put the book down now I'll just put a picture on the side so if I talk about the characters you know what I'm talking about but just to clarify so Ramiyoshi is young this, this is a flashback chapter this is him in his youth this is him in his early stages this is him in his beginning before the, these big chapters the, the, before these big chapters come out this is Ramiyoshi in his youth, in his in his most vulnerable state. The things he goes through are very powerful and they shape him to be the man he is. Situation with Sai, he, like I said, he's focusing on Ramiyoshi. He's focused getting Ramiyoshi out of the picture so he can focus on Kimbu so he can have her. And it's a it's a kind of like a love triangle. So the front cover is represents so many different things. It represents the relationship between them, the three of them. Represents the relationship Ramiyoshi has for the people. He wants to protect them, despite if they love him or hate him. He wants to protect them, okay. And it also represents <clears throat> the franchise and what I'm trying to create. The main character Ramiyoshi, a young chocolate brother, coming in this game, trying to take it over. All right. So that's it. That's it for now. Hope you guys have a better understanding about Ramiyoshi and the front cover that I created. If you like the video and that was informative, please. Give it a thumbs up please give it a like please subscribe send it to somebody send it to somebody like it subscribe comment as well get the algorithm popping let this video pop up let it grow let my channel start to grow now okay thank you guys for your time